Hi, you scholars. This is Ms. J. Williams for Leadership Development. This lesson is called Boss versus Leader. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to identify the differences between the characteristics of a boss and the characteristics of a leader. So we're going to start our lesson with saying our daily affirmation that we say every day. Um, and our leadership affirmation is, I am a great visionary. I am a thoughtful person who strives to inspire others with my words. I am always generous with praise and compliments. I am an inspiration to others because when I shine, you shine, and when you shine, we all shine. Ashe. So, to start with our lesson, we are going to look at the definitions of a boss, and we're going to look at the definitions of a leader. We are also going to look at some key words in both definitions. A leader. Someone who other will follow, someone who can inspire you or motivate you to meet your goal. The definition of a boss is a person who exercises control or authority. So let's look at the, some key words in both of these definitions. I underline the words inspire and motivate in the definition of a leader. Because a leader inspires you. When someone inspires you, you look at their behavior, and then you take a look at your own, and it makes you want to um, check your own behavior and make it better. Leaders also motivate you. When someone motivates you, they are your biggest cheerleaders. They are giving you encouraging words. They are making you want to do more, making you want to go more, and that's what leaders do. When we look at the definition of a boss, the key word that I underlined was control. And that is exactly what a boss wants to do. A boss wants to control everything. They want to they want to be in charge. They don't think about the team. And we're going to look more into that with the rest of our lesson. So the one thing I want to look at is this chart over here. Boss versus leader. A leader can be a boss, but not every boss is a leader. Now, all leaders have the characteristics to take charge, run things, but they do it in a fair way. And we're going to talk more about that. A leader requires more responsibility in the job than a boss. And that is because a leader is going to get in, get work done, and we're going to talk more about that in one minute too. So I want to take our focus on this chart here. These are some characteristics and some differences between a boss and a leader. And we're going to go through each one and talk about the differences that they have and um, what makes a boss and what makes a leader. So, number one, leaders lead, not rule. And what that simply means is leaders are for the team. They want to work with the team. They want to move forward with the team. They listen to the team, and they work together, and they're right with them. If you look at um, one leader that we may know, our 44th president, Barack Obama, a lot of times I've seen pictures or videos of President Obama, and he had his sleeves rolled up. And normally when somebody has their sleeve rolled up and their suit jacket off, that means they're into the work. They're getting getting into it just as well. I should so, number two, leaders listen and speak rather than command. And what that basically means is bosses, they give orders. Bosses just want to tell you what to do. They don't actually want to do it themselves. They want you to do it. They want um, employees to listen to them and to obey them. One of the things that leaders is not going to require. They, leaders listen to the opinions of, the, of, of their colleagues and the people that they're working with. They respect their opinions and they want to work with you and want you to have a voice also. Number three is leaders motivate rather than terrify. That one means that the leader is going to support you. Even if you do something wrong, they're not going to scold you or not going to yell at you or not going to put you down. They want to teach you they want to um, make sure that you learn from your mistakes in a positive way. They're not going to criticize you. 
like a boss. A boss will criticize you. I show you. Number four, leaders take part rather than stay aside. This goes in hand with the first one because a leader, like I said, um, with the first one, the leaders want to take initiative to work with the team instead of bossing people around. They are not going to just want you to do everything. They're going to work with you. They're not going to stand to the side and just give orders. Leaders are going to get in there. They're going to get the work done with you. They're going to work together. Ashe? Number five, leaders establish equal relationships. Leaders treat everyone equally. They don't take favoritism. They're not going to like this person more than they like that person or give this person better things than that person. They don't act better than other people also. Bosses fail and leaders succeed. They don't choose favor, favors because of that. When you treat everyone equally, everyone as a team will be able to work together and get the job done and everyone will do it um, and be happy. And number six, leaders teach and learn rather than expect and ignore. And what this simply means is that leaders learn from everyone. Also, leaders are always willing to learn something. They are they're never think they know too much. They don't think they know it all. And they're willing to share the knowledge that they have and teach others that knowledge. A boss think they know it all. They think nobody can tell them nothing. And they're going to... Um, just want to do things their way. And this week's activity, I'm going to just grab a marker real quick. You will see a PowerPoint and a, um, you will see a PowerPoint or a Google slide. And you'll see three boxes. And one will say boss and one will say leaders. So, what you're going to do is you'll also see that in the middle there will be words and phrases. And you have to click on those words or phrases and pin it with the appropriate box. Rather it is a boss or rather it is a leader. So based on what we learned today, we are going to go through some things and we're going to see whether it was a boss or rather it was a leader. I'm just going to move this over a little bit more so that you can see the characteristics. All right, so boss, leader. So the first thing we said that leaders lead and not rule. So based on just that one, we will write down leader, lead, bosses, rule. Okay, so when we look at the second one, leaders listen and speak rather than command. So we were right in the box on the boss. We were right command. And we were right over the leader. That leaders listen and they speak. For the third one, leaders motivate. So we put motivate and under leader and then write terrify under boss. Because bosses always want to tell you what to do. The fourth one, leaders take part. So we put right, take part. And bosses stay aside. Number five, leaders establish equal relationships. So we would say that leaders could be fair. And for that one, we could say, what you think? Yes, unfair. And for the sixth one, leaders teach and learn rather than expect and ignore. Because leaders always want to teach or always want to learn more. And bosses think they know it all.
So there's a list of our charts based on what we learned today. Now, what you will notice is that in the PowerPoint and Google slide, there are different terms and different phrases. So I want to see will you be able to tell the difference between which one is a boss and which one is a leader. I say. So this lesson, we learned about the differences between a boss and a leader. I say. I say.